New York Yankees fans yet again. It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, a local mustache. Today it came out that the Yankees are shopping Josh Donaldson and Aaron Hicks. An article was published this morning by the NY Post, written by Joe Sherman. And it's great news. My previous video, it was titled, How Steinbrenner Praises Donaldson, Hicks, uh, Cashman Praises Hicks. Are they praising them or are they doing that to increase their trade value? So obviously, that's what they did. So it was a good article written by Joel. Let's take a look at it. In this article, he writes, The Yankees will work hard to get rid of the $29 million, $21 million next season, and $8 million due on the buyout of a 2024 option owed to Josh Donaldson. And the three years at $30.5 million plus $1 million in an assignment bonus if there is a trade owed to Aaron Hicks. So, Aaron Judge, Mega Deal, Star Shortstop Splurge, Going Young in 2023, Inside Yankees Offseason Alternatives. And news broke today as well. Wow, it's making me want to pay for, make me want to log in just to view tweets now? What are you doing, Elon? You're going to make me buy Tesla now too? My God. Can, can, can I view his tweet, please? Anyways, it came out that, let's just do it like this. There we go. Just because the Yankees and IKF agreed on a one-year, $6 million deal doesn't necessarily mean he'll still be here by the start of the season. The front office can use him as a trade asset slash backup player. If you don't know what happened, let's show you. The Yankees have agreed to terms on a one-year contract with INF. <laughs> Infielder, my bad. It was so similar to ICAF. Isaiah Kaina Falefa. Dust avoiding arbitration. So a lot of people were kind of upset by that news, but it's just uh, the Yankees, you know, making him enticing to, let's say, making him more tradable. So let's get to the part of the uh, live where I randomly call somebody. Let's call the latest store of execution on NYY News. That is NYY News, Ruben. Let's hear what he has to say. Doing this live. Bear with me. Let's see if I got that number right. Shall we? Hello? It is a superstar. NYY News Ruben of NYY News Execution. Ruben, how you doing? I'm good and you, sir. I'm doing great. Hey, it came out today that the Yankees are looking to move Donaldson and Hicks. Have you heard that news? Yeah, I did. I did. I saw that on Twitter. So what do you think? Um, I think, uh, I mean, it's definitely a good news to hear. Uh, we definitely should move on from those players. And I definitely think there's some possibility that we can definitely move um, both of them for sure. And we all know now that the Twins are in need of a third baseman. Is that possible that you could see a move where Donaldson returns to the Twins? To the Twins? Um, no, I don't think he goes back to the Twins um, just because I think they have other infield options 
um, with maybe moving an arise from second base to, to third base or something like that. They also have um, the switch hitting shortstop that, that can move around too. So, um, and, and they have a shortstop coming up too. But what does this mean? This means that the Yankees are taking a look at Carlos Correa, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I think they are definitely probably taking a, a, a in depth look at it because if they're able to move Donaldson, not only are you freeing up the salary, but you're freeing up the position. So it might it might definitely have a better chance of getting Correa, um, even more so than Turner, in my opinion, just because um, Correa has played third base before while Turner hasn't. So what team out of their cracked out mind would take an Aaron Hicks? Would take a Josh Donaldson? Obviously, the Yankees are going to eat some of those contracts, right? Um, they'll probably eat some of the contract a little bit, um, but we also got to take a look at, um, you know, if they attach a prospect for Donaldson, they'll probably, you know, be more willing to take on Donaldson for one year. Um, Hicks, on the other hand, I think his value comes from more like bouncing back um, in a lower market. So like maybe like a Milwaukee or maybe someone um, in the NL Central and then he's an OBP guy that that plays with less pressure in, rather than in New York. So, as you just gave us some of your opinions, you have any more opinions on what you think the Yankees are going to do if they're going to spend a lot this off season? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, Hal so far has been very active. Um, he seems a little bit more um, motivated to win the fans back. Um, he probably doesn't like the smoke that he's gotten recently. So, at this point, it really looks like so, somebody uh, on Twitter said how my show out. Steinbrenner has, and that's why he acts like that. I mean, that's an. Who, I'm not trying to make fun of people with that condition, but that that was a low blow. Like the fans are going low for how. It's yeah, crazy. yeah. There was a, yeah, there was somebody on Twitter that did say that, and it was one that I didn't, didn't expect to say that. <laughs> yeah, um, low Yankees fans. I mean, wow. How, how Steinbrenner needs to turn it around. If, if they go that low, make it front of. Yeah, they're, they're they're going real low with him, but um, I I think um, Hal's motivated, man. I think Hal really wants to kind of get back to winning. Um, he didn't like the fact that they booed him while Jeter's ceremony was there. So, I think Hal's gonna show up, man. I, I, I maybe. Um, I'm not going to say 100% that they're going to get one of the shortstops between Correa or, or Turner, but I think they might actually really consider it. And plus, he's really into the youth movement, so like he might as well move Donaldson, might as well move Hicks and give uh, more playing time to a Cabrera, to a Peraza, to a Volpe and put where your money is, you know what I mean, and play those, play those yeah, guys uh, and hopefully extend them. The name there uh, float, floating around is Glaber Torres. You think he's going to be moved? Oh, he's he's gone, he's gone. So you think uh, I, he, Volpe will be your uh, starting second baseman in 2023? That that uh, that's what I'm leaning towards. I think that um, if we don't get a, a career or or a Turner, we could really see a second base um, uh, look of Volpe, or maybe they might move Peraza to second base, given by, that by he's way, already played Turner second now? base. Say it again. How old is Turner now? Turner's 29. Oh, you're talking about the other Turner, my fault. I thought you were talking about the third baseman. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, I was talking about the Trey Turner. Yeah, the okay. Trey Turner might be um, – it could be an option for second base. Um, Turner, uh, Trey Turner has played second base, but Volpe, to me, is, is a better option at second base, but he hasn't played there yet. So I don't know if the Yankees' goal is to keep him at well, shortstop just for the lower. Baseman. They list him as, what, 5'11", but he's more like 5'7", because Pete met him in person. He's about like 5'8", or something like that. Yeah, so um, he might be a second baseman, might be a shortstop. Um, I know Peraza's already played second base um, in the minors and a little bit up in the majors. So I don't know if the Yankees want to keep Volpe at shortstop just to kind of keep that you know that big big position title. Um, but Peraza looks like a better defender. So before I leave you, do you think the Yankees need to increase their offensive, you know, struggles at the catcher position? Because Torino's is nice, but I would like that position to be more, you know, offensive. I would definitely consider it. Um, especially like, let's say, let's say we have a scenario where we get a Turner, a Trey Turner or a career, right? Then I mean, Peraza becomes expendable after that. So 
you could technically move a Peraza and, and a couple of prospects and, and get a, a, a Murphy, a catcher. And then now you have two of the very best defensive catchers as a tandem. Because that's what I think and, the Yankees the most when, come playoff time and down the stretch for uh, the end of the season that they wasn't getting mm-hmm. any production from the catcher position. Yeah, and, and and Murphy had great a great improvement this year. His strikeout rate was lower than his previous years. Um, he hit like 37 doubles, 18 home runs in 140 plus games. Had a 250 average, 332 on base. So I mean, uh, Murphy definitely improved even while playing half of his games in Oakland. So before I leave you, what from the top of your head, what would you construct the Yankees roster? What what would it look like in 2023? From one to nine. If it were me, um, I would definitely, you know, we already got Rizzo at first, second base. Well, um, I would go with the Volpe, uh, just start him off. And if not, you know, stick in uh, Cabrera there for um, until Volpe is ready to play second. Um, we could put DJ at third base. And then at, at shortstop, we could go with Turner or even um, a Correa. Um Turner might be a better fit just because we do need a leadoff hitter, but I like Correa um, in, in the postseason. Now, left field, we, we definitely got to get Ben and Tendi back. You got Bader at center, right field judge, of course, D.H. Stanton, and then um, at catcher, I would really take a look at possibly having a Murphy and Trevino, uh, uh, yeah, Trevino um, tandem. All right, this has been Ruben from Execution, and we'll want to use Ruben. Great having you on, Ruben. All right, man. Thanks. Take it easy. So there you have it. Yankees looking to get rid of, that That was the quote, get rid of Josh Donaldson and Aaron Hicks. From my standpoint, my, my opinion, I think the Yankees are going to go Correa hunting. That's just my hunch. Uh, Hal Steinbrenner has something to prove. You got a whole bunch of Yankees fans still calling these <laughs> House Steinbrenner horrific uh, names. I mean, he just has to fix his reputation. And the way he's going to do that is finally listening to the Yankees fan base. That has been House Steinbrenner's problem. And he has the opportunity to fix his image this offseason. Obviously, by re signing Judge for, or, or later, I, I want to say first, but obviously bringing back Judge, and making these other moves. So Yankees fans, it has been Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.